Right, I'm here with Manifest backstage at the Sub 89 gig they're doing tonight with Skin Dread Forever and Ever. Now, uh, can you introduce yourself uh, and uh, a food type that best describes you? Yeah, I'm Tom, I play bass, and I think the type of food that best describes me is a steak. Right, I'm, uh, I'm Dale, I'm vocals, and I think the best type of food that describes me is beer, because eating's cheating. Uh, now, you've done two albums in four years. Um, where, did, where did your inspiration come from when you're, you're thinking about songs? Um, lyrically, because I write all the lyrics, um, just life, really. Um, I've never really delved into any kind of like politics on any of our albums. Maybe on Dawn of Reprise, we're a little bit um, hatred justified about the London bombings on 7th and 7th. But it's more to do with like recognising the heroes that were made that day because it's like the blitz mentality, isn't it? Like when anything happens, like everyone comes together. It doesn't matter your creed, your colour, your fucking religion. Everyone's in the same boat and come together. It's like human nature, isn't it? Now you guys played Download uh, two years back. How did it feel playing in front of that many people? Uh, it was absolutely incredible, but l thinking back on it now, it seems like a blur. It seems like it was like five seconds. We we were all completely we were all completely sober as well and absolutely bricking ourselves because we've been going to that festival since it's been there. Yeah. So we've always been on the other side of the barriers. And, you know, not many people get to live their fucking dream and play Donington, do you know what I mean? You do, were the happiest metal band I <laughs> saw at that festival. Yeah, what, what, what goes through your mind when there's, I mean, as you say, it's an, it was an early point in your career, and wow. yet there's 12,000 people, with devil horns flowing. What I was mean, going through my mind was, well, two things. First thing is, I've waited all my life for this, don't fuck it up. Three things. Second thing was, I've waited my whole life for this to everyone else. Don't you fuck this up. <laughs> and the third thing was, Kiss were pretty good last night. We've got to be actually on it because we were the first band to play since their play. So we were like, okay, we watched Kiss and we're like, right, we're going to go to bed and try and be that good in the morning. But we got one of the biggest, well, according to Kerrang, we got the biggest circle pit of the weekend. So... Absolutely. I mean, that was that was sort of because uh, Devil Driver tried to do the uh, they got the bigot they tried to do. Yeah. It, was it, it was a year after, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That, that's why we got the biggest circle bit because Devil yeah, Driver. Yeah. <laughs> we we covered it that year. Yeah. We yeah, just we like saw a gap in the market, and we're like, yeah, we're having this. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> now you just uh, you do quite a few tours with Devil Driver. Yep. What's what's the relationship there? Is that sort of uh, from a, uh, a promotional point of view? Did they like oh. your band and think I want them? I think Des sees a lot in us. Uh, That's the singer of the band. Yeah, Des Favara. Um, he looks at us and sees him like 20 years ago. And I think he sympathises a lot with how fucking hard it is because he's done it twice, once with Cold Chamber and now with Devil Driver. So he tries to give us like a helping hand up whenever he can. Whenever he's in Europe, basically, look, look at the support and it'll be us. And we owe an awful fucking lot to that geezer. An awful lot. Well, now you're playing the hometown tonight of uh, Reading uh, with, a, with a big band, uh, Skin Dread. Yep. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel about playing the hometown again? We love playing Reading. It's always good fun. We get a chance to play in front of a lot of people that can't necessarily afford to come and see us when, whenever we're on these big tours. So tonight is like, it's a really good package, awesome headliner. It's, it's crossover for our fans, do you know what I mean? You, you kind of get the idea from that. Ladies and gentlemen, Malefice right there. <laughs> If you want to catch their, uh, if you want to catch any more shows they're doing, look at their tour guide. Go to myspace.com forward slash Malefice, and uh, you also have your TV program as well, I believe. Yeah, Malefice TV on YouTube. Check it out. Thank you very much, guys. Well,